Welcome to the live rooms, Bootle. I'm from Southport, which we refer to as the um, land that stand-up comedy forgot. <laughs> Alternatively, we call it the um, Bermuda Triangle of Funk. <laughs> I got some bad news lately. Um, my biggest fan uh, passed away during my act. He was 85. He died peacefully in his sleep, surrounded by friends and family. <laughs> And I know he didn't suffer because my act had just started. <laughs> his friends were gutted because it was his turn to go to the bar. Uh, I, I, over Christmas I've been doing a lot of party trips. I'd like to show you my favourite party trip, which is to um, say the alphabet backwards. Can anybody do that? I can't say the alphabet forwards. <laughs> no. yeah. So I'll just show you this trip. It's, it's um, impressive, it impressed me. So, I don't get it. So, um, it's not as hard as it looks, which is a word you never want to hear in the bedroom. And, uh, no. Be I'm not used to it. Okay, so, um, air bricks. Not a fan. <laughs> Windmills, a big fan. <laughs> so, I've got this argumentative auntie who lives in Southport, and last year we were talking about, you know, Southport and her life and everything. She said, I've lived in Southport all my life. I said, not yet, you haven't. <laughs> so, sadly, six months later, she passed away. I thought this is very sad. Well, I was standing in the cemetery. I couldn't help thinking that some women will go to any lengths to win an argument. <laughs> <laughs> A quick impersonation for you now. Boom. That's stage fright. <laughs> um, I recently bought a book on uh, self motivation. I just can't be asked to read it. <laughs> I bought a book on the art of complaining. It was so good, I read it, took it back and got my money back. <laughs> I'm, I'm very house proud as it happens, you know. I keep my house like a palace. In fact, like Caesar's palace, in that it's always full of alcoholic gamblers and hookers. <laughs> I was going to do a selection of my favourite jokes from my favourite deadpan comedians today, but Fuck them, they don't do any of mine. <laughs> now, at this point in the, um, the set, I'm going to do a couple of Donald Trump jokes. I, don't, I hope you're not going to be offended by this. So the first one, I saw Trump on TV before Christmas, and he was talking about the price of drugs in uh, American schools, and I thought, this is terrible, because uh, he claims that chocolate is actually cheaper than drugs in the schools in America. And I thought, well, it's a quick fix. Reduce the price of chocolate. Make the choice a bit harder for them, for God's sake. <laughs> but basically, um, I, I don't mind if kids prefer to eat chocolate than drugs, you know, and be become a bit obese, lose a few teeth. After all, it's got to be far better than being an American. <laughs> The other joke, which Trump decided, has finally decided to pay for the wall. The Mexicans are going to pay for the uh, doors and windows. <laughs> and uh, I had to change some money before the big crash is coming up. So I went to the uh, Bureau of Change and there was a 14-year-old French girl behind the counter. And I said, what are you doing there? She said, I'm a foreign exchange student. <laughs> I was at the station, the door opens on the lift, and it's full of cutlery. I said, what's this all about? He said, it's a forklift. <laughs> I saw a policeman walking down Lord Street uh, with a G-clamp on his head. I said, what are you doing? He says, a working vice. <laughs> I moved into my house recently, and it was occupied by a 96 year old guy before. And uh, I, I started to think straight away it was haunted because, you know, 
the TV kept turning itself on, the post was getting delivered on time, <laughs> and uh, people were laughing at my jokes, I thought, something's not right here. <laughs> so I told some of my mate, he said, don't be daft. A few weeks later, a, pr uh, a priest arrived, and he said, can I help you with your spirits? I said, how did you know about my alcoholism? <laughs> he said, no, not the spirits. I said, why do you want to help me? He said, I need to exercise. <laughs> so, he did his job, and he, a few weeks later, it got worse. In fact, it got to the point where my TV disappeared. So I phoned him up. I said, somebody's, uh, the TV's gone. What's going on? He said, I think you've been repossessed. <laughs> <laughs> so, I got offered a job looking after old people, or taking old people out, in fact, but I thought, I'll never be any good as a hitman. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, I've, I've read in the news recently that they caught the two guys who were going around killing people in the, the northwest, the two hitmen, and I thought it's got really bad when uh, hitmen have to go around in twos in Merseyside. <laughs> <laughs> I saw a fellow walking down the street with a big lump of ice on his head. I said, what's that? He said, it's an ice cap. <laughs> I often get confused between uh, Mahogany and monogamy. <laughs> Easy mistake. One's hard, difficult to work with, and expensive. The other one's what using furniture. <laughs> <laughs> I found a key in the street. It had a label on it. It was the local uh, Buddhist temple. So I took it back to the temple. I said to the main fellow there, "What's this for?" He said, "It's probably a monkey." <laughs> 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 A friend of mine got arrested by the police for throwing eggs into hot water. They didn't even poke him. <laughs> I got a tip for a horse, um, but the jockey was 20 stone. I decided not to bet on it because the, uh, the stakes were too high. Oh, they... Ah, oh, fuck that joke. <laughs> <laughs> There's too much riding on it. <laughs> I decided to make a, to make a sex tape. I can't finish it because the neighbours keep closing their curtains. <laughs> uh, I went to my mate's wedding. I got too drunk and I fell into the wedding cake. Uh, I was in tears. <laughs> the bride threatened to kill me. It was a veiled threat. <laughs> and finally, I'll leave you with this. I hate my boss. I always have. He's a bit of a prick, actually. It's a shame I'm self-employed. <laughs> <laughs>